and welcome to another educational video about screen printing by Catspit Productions. Today I wanted to try to explain to you what layers are in Adobe Illustrator. This is version CS3, but the principle will be the same for any version, or even Corel Draw. But, you know, in Corel Draw, of course, it'll be in a different spot. But what layers are is basically we have a canvas here, or an artboard, and we can have layers built up in a two-dimensional direction, you know, towards us. So, if your layer window isn't already open somewhere over here, then you can go up to the menu bar, click Window, and go down to Layers, and it should pop up here. This box also has some other sub-tabs, but today we're just using the Layers tab. Okay? So, basically, we already have one layer. When you create your you know, document, you already have one layer initially created. Right now I'm using that layer for my little branding logo, and it's locked. You see this here? This blue highlight means I have this layer highlighted, and this little padlock toggles the lock. So when it's not there, you can select this. When I lock it, you cannot. Okay, so that could be helpful when you're creating artwork. Alright, now one of the reasons we use layers is that, as a screen printer, you can create different parts of the artwork or different colors on different layers. So here's create a new layer, because we need to start with a layer. And you can double click the layer and name it if you wanted to. And we could say this is color 1. Okay, so there it is. Now. Maybe our color one is just uh, a font. You know, maybe we're going to have some kind of text on this layer. Okay, and now we can toggle that layer on and off, just like even my branding layer can be toggled on and off. Okay, so now we have a color one. But disregard branding layer for this. Uh, obviously, you wouldn't have that when you're working because, you know, you're just creating the artwork. I have it for the video, all right? So basically, we have color one. Now, we might create another layer and call it color two. Okay, and now on this layer, we might have a shape. A shape of some kind, okay? Alright, now. We can also delete layers from here. These are the controls. So, you have, when it's highlighted, you can delete the layer. Okay? Or... You could create a sub-layer if you wanted to. You know, that's a little bit more complex. When you're first starting out doing simple spot colors, I just recommend using layers, okay? And, uh, let's see. Just to, you know, last one, we'll do one more. Say this is, uh, you know, color three. And we have an ellipse on it. Alright, so two of the reasons why knowing these layers are here and knowing how to use them is, for one, you can lock certain parts of the artwork while you're working on this layer, so that if I do this, it's not selecting. I can't even budge these because they're locked. You see that? Just can toggle them on and off. And that will, you know, so if you wanted to work with all the pieces on this one layer without worrying about you know, oh, oops, I moved that, I didn't want to. Well, you know, you just lock those layers, and now it only selects the one layer that is unlocked. It, that's the only one you can select or work with at this point. If you select this other layer, you know, it's locked too. You'd have to unlock it. Okay, so you do that. Now, the other reason why is for printing. When you print out a simple spot color like this, you can use the print visible layers function in the print dialog and only the things that you have toggled on will print so that comes in handy when you're going to print film positives so say this is color one that could now you know we don't have registration marks obviously but you know just saying for the layers that's color one 
can turn it off. There's color two. Bam, color three. Follow, and you can print each one. All right, so that's what layers are. I just, I think, you know, I just wanted to explain to you kind of what they are in their very basic form you know, just to start you out so you can start using them and exploring layers and how they work with multicolored screen printing artwork. Okay? I hope this, that you found this uh, video helpful. Okay? If you like what you, you've seen today, please uh, rate, thumbs up, comment below, and of course subscribe. Thanks a lot for watching, and we'll see you next time.